Hello everyone, this is Eduardo with Ceratech, and for this video, I'll be showing how you can export an assembly outside of Team Center. So the first thing we want to do is, of course, make sure we're integrated with a Team Center environment. So we'll go to File, and you should see the Export Assembly outside of Team Center option. So when we click on this, we'll see a dialog box pop up with uh, several tabs here, giving us a couple options. Okay, so this main tab is a summary of all your conditions that you'll choose here. And the first thing you would do is add the assembly or part you want to export. Okay. So in this case, we're exporting the 1543 assembly. So we'll click on this one here. Okay, okay so you can see it in the bottom here, it's exporting those different components. The larger the assembly, of course, the, you know, the longer it'll take. Okay, so we'll leave everything as default for now, since that's uh, you know, the uh, most common. And so it, important part here to be aware of is you know, this load options. So this is your revision rules, right? So um, you know, if you're working in Team Center, you, you might not have everything in the same revision, right? You might have some parts that are released, some parts are in work. You might have some hardware that may or may not be released, right? So you know, the latest working um, is you know what um, you know the most up to date revision, whether that be released or not. Precise only is the you know, second most common. This is everything that's released. So even if there's a working you know, C revision, uh, but it's not released, it will export the previous revision in this case. So you know, one thing to note too is you know, sometimes there's some hardware that's not released, and if you click on precise only, you may or may not you know, export it. So we want to be careful with uh, you know we just want to check that that's the intention before we export. So we'll go ahead and click on latest working, uh, and naming conventions here. So you know, your export name. Uh, this has you know, my specific user number, so this will export with uh, you know, suffix. Um, that's rarely used. This is you know, the best practice here, auto translate. So this will basically grab these numbers. You can make some exception rules if you need to. And this is your output directory. So you can go ahead and create a folder in here or anywhere. And this is the folder I want to export to. Okay, um, non-mastered associated files. So if uh, there's any uh, you know, reference or supporting documents related to this part, but, you know, depending on how your team center is set up, um, you might have associated you know, drawings or uh, FEA models. So you can go ahead and add those here. In this case, we'll say none, and we don't have any drawings related to this part. So we can leave this unchecked. Checkout is you know, also rarely used. This is saying you know, you're going to check out exported parts. If you want to uh, clean this assembly when you export, then you'll go ahead and do this. Uh, you'll check that box there. Then you have log files. This is basically defining where you want your log file to be saved. So for this case, I want it to be in the same folder here. And have something generic as a name. Okay. Then DFA file is rarely used. I don't think we've ever used this one before, but you can add one here if needed. Okay. Now it looks like we have all our conditions that we want. We can now uh, run through a dry run. So let's check this and execute and see it running in the background. Okay. It should tell us you know, there's no error. So uh, it looks like it you know, went smoothly, so we can uncheck this and click on Execute. And so now it should write to that test folder. Okay. So let me swap my screens here. Okay, so if I go to my test folder, you should see all of this pop up here. You can see that the auto translate included the revision in here, which is nice to have. Um, so in case you have different revisions for the different files, you'll be able to see that. If you do not want that you know, suffix 
uh, or the uh, the underscore a on there, and you can define the rule with the export. And lastly, you have a, a clone file here, the the test log file, and this is the the default one. Okay, so that was a demonstration of how to export from Team Center. Um, we used an example of the lamp assembly. You can do this with a different part, and you can add you know any related documents like drawings or FEA models. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.